Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of My Bucket List Day. Today we're going to dive into advanced intelligent lithium power. And you're probably thinking, what the hell is all of that? Well, we're going to get into that. And I apologize for the loud noises. It's kind of windy out here today. And you're hearing my flags flop around. And uh, we're going to do the best we can to uh, get this done. And not have too much uh, background noise in the audio here. But before we get into all of that, why don't we go ahead and watch this intro and we'll be right back. So welcome back. So what is it I mean by intelligent lithium? Uh, what that means is Battleborn or Dragonfly Energy, which is the parent comp company of Battleborn, they have developed a new lithium technology. And you're gonna see here uh, in this clip and talking to uh, the president and CEO of Battleborn, that they have spent the last two years developing a solid state or basic, basically a solid state type of lithium technology, not only in the battery packs themselves, but also in the hardware that's driving and managing all of it. And what's beautiful about that is they're able to go from a 48 volt, 36 volt down to 12 volt, and it's all user selectable on how you want to do it. Obviously, with the higher the voltage in uh, uh, charging batteries, that takes a lot more battery management to do that, but it also runs and manages a lot more efficiently which you're going to get into this video and get that information straight from the source. But I'm very excited about this new technology. It's not quite available yet, so I'm giving you guys a sneak peek of what's coming. And uh, I'm guessing around, or I'm being told somewhere around the late April, May time frame, this product, just parts of these products will be available that you're about to see here. Um, I highly recommend you investigate that and look into it, but I think it's going to be just like Battleborn was in their uh, regular lithium batteries. They were the trendsetter, they were the leader, they were the standard that everybody tried to uh, achieve or strive to. Uh, their game changer batteries, another big innovation move for Battleborn. And now the next phase is this intelligence lithium that you're about to see here from, uh, well, it's not Battleborn, it's actually the parent company from Dragonfly Energy. So sit back, take a look at this, and we'll be right back. Hey everybody, as you know, we're here at the RV show in Tampa, and I'd like to introduce you to somebody. This is Dr. Dennis Ferris, right? Yep. And uh, he is the guy running the ship right here, and he's going to tell us about some brand new stuff from Battleborn, and uh, it's kind of exciting. And I can't wait for you guys to hear about it, so Dennis, tell us what's new. Well, uh, first of all, Jeff, thanks for coming by the booth, yeah. um, and thanks for your interest in, in what we're doing. We're pretty excited about all this because, um, you know, we ultimately at heart we're a, we're a battery technology company. We yeah. love to innovate, and it's been a little while. You know, times have been a little crazy, yeah. and uh, but we've been working on this stuff for a couple of years now, and today's the big launch. Yeah, and I will say it it's based on an overarching capability that we call Dragonfly Intelligence. And it's basically um, a way for batteries to communicate with each other and with accessories in a very reliable, wireless way um, so that we can deliver information to the user, to the uh, to the vehicle, to the, to the home system, whatever it is. Yep. Um, aggregated data, a way that makes sense. Okay. Um, and so if we start over here, actually, uh, this is our our flagship 112 battery that is now equipped with Dragonfly Intelligence. Got it. And basically what that means is that this battery obviously can communicate via an app with, with the cell phone. So that's been, you know, companies right. have been doing that for a while. Right. But more importantly, this can communicate with every other battery in your system. And it can communicate with accessories such as this, this hub. Okay. So this hub will uh, be involved in a mesh network with every battery in your system. It'll know how all the batteries are configured, series or parallel, 
It's highly configurable, easy to do with an Very app. Very good. And then it will deliver the aggregated information either to the user via Bluetooth or it can do it via CAN bus, RBC, NEMA 2K. Very good. Communicate with a Schneider inverter, a Victron inverter. So the functionality is very hot. So is there any programming I need to do to the CAN bus or anything in there, or can I do it all through this? Well, first of all, the CAN bus programming is typically done by the OEM. Right. Um, so we will be working with our partners to deliver the information or manage the system however they want it to okay. be managed. Uh, you will typically be using your cell phone that right. can communicate with the hub, okay. and you can configure the, your system however you want it configured. It will alert you to uh, any sort of error or warning that could happen via, uh, via Bluetooth or however you want that information okay. delivered. Um, if there's a high current, uh, high voltage, low voltage, temperature shutdown, short circuit, whatever it is, you'll know exactly what's happening and you'll know about it before it happens. Okay, very good. So that's, you know, that's critical for a, uh, a safe, you know, uh, efficient, robust system for, right. for the end user. Right, no, I like it, very good. And I'm going to interrupt here, for those of you that don't know, Dragonfly Energy is kind of a parent company and Battleborn is the consumer facing brand of the products. A lot of people ask me that. Who's Dragonfly? And then that. Uh, yeah. I thanks have to for thanks that. for mentioning that. The company, <laughs> the company is Dragonfly Energy, and uh, our our retail consumer brand, Battleborn Batteries, became so popular now that a lot of OEMs actually use that brand, the Battleborn brand. So we're kind of combining it. This is a Battleborn battery with Dragonfly intelligence. Correct. Correct. So if I can expand on this hole, I know yeah. there's a lot of information there. No, that's, uh, but, that's you know, awesome. We've been busy. Yeah. So we're we're taking all this all this functionality that we have and we're addressing higher voltage systems with that. So if we can walk over here, this is our new 48 volt 5 kilowatt hour system that we call the Dragonfly Wing. Um, it's suitable for an RV, a 48 volt system in an RV. Uh, it's great for a home residential sure. storage system. And basically what we're doing is we're incorporating all the uh, network capability um, and it can communicate with all of your other accessories with other dragonfly wings with your Schneider inverter your Victron inverter whatever you choose to use okay but more importantly we're using that capability to make sure that pack is always in balance so this is something that as you get to higher voltages it's yeah. harder to maintain balance among the cells yeah and if they're out of balance and that creates right you know inadvertent shutdowns cutoffs you lose so capacity it's yeah. just but it's hard over time to keep the, the battery in balance so we have a system here we call hybrid balancing okay. so that it's always in balance the cells are always in balance it can be auto balanced and this is kind of crazy we have a provision here where you can charge at 48 volts, but if you want, you can hit a button and charge it at 12 volts too. So you could use any 12 volt battery charger to charge your 48 volt Interesting. system if you want. So okay, and that unique. manages both in charge and discharge for us, correct? You can, you can charge or discharge at either 48 or 12 volts. It actually has a different output for 12 Got or 48, it. but it's actually selectable. Okay, and then the balancing of the battery cells, mm -hmm. uh, when you're doing that, that's also for charge and discharge. It keeps them balanced. So when it discharges, it makes sure it's balancing the batteries? Uh, the, no, the, the balancing is always on a charge cycle. Only so on the charge. Yeah, okay. that's so typically what happens is as you get to the top of the charge, right. you use the voltage differences among the cells right. to, to balance it. So that's, okay. what, that's what we're doing here. Okay, very cool. And what else do we have here now? This is our the oh, Schneider this is, yeah, this is just Yeah, these are, these are Schneider components. And yeah. you know, we're, we're sort of highlighting the fact that we're compatible with basically any kind of So Schneider, Victron, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. the back side of this has a Victron and a Solar. So. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, that's great news. A lot of interesting stuff. Um, in the battery itself, is there any additional intelligence that is uh, in the batteries that are not part of the legacy batteries that well, make the them work? Or can, with that adapt adapter, does that 
make the legacy batteries tie into this? No, the legacy batteries don't talk to each other. So they're right. basically batteries. Now, 12 volt batteries um, balance fine. We, yeah. we never have a problem with the passive balancing system in 12 volt batteries. Okay. Um, but those batteries aren't going to communicate with the network. Okay. You'd have to have them equipped with the, the Dragonfly intelligence capability. Right, okay. And to equip the legacy batteries, is there is that a possibility? No, they're not. They're not. They're, they're, they're not reverse compatible now. Okay, okay. Well, that was great information. Uh, I'm excited about this, and I'm excited about that. Um, uh, especially that you can convert or uh, connect it to Canvas and all the other things in your rig, and you can manage all of that. That's awesome. Yeah, great. Thank you. All right. All right, guys, you heard it here first, and uh, we appreciate your time. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much for your, your time today and all that great information. My pleasure. Okay, so that was really informative. Dennis did a a great job explaining it and uh, hopefully you guys understood that. The only thing I wanted to top off here is he talked about the CAN bus and I talked about it a little bit. It's If you're not quite sure what that is, it basically is like in my system or my rig, I've got a uh, Lippert or LCI one control system. Well the CAN bus is that's basically the communication between that and all the other accessories or features on the uh, rig such as your slide outs, your awnings, your lights, your air conditioners that this one control system controls all of that. Well, as you know, when we did our Battleborn install, we integrated our Victron Energy uh, components and into our one control system. So the CAN bus integration that we talked about in that video, that's essentially what we're doing. And what Dragonfly Energy has done is they're working with all the manufacturers of the systems in the various brands of RVs out there, whether it's a Class A, B, or C, or a travel trailer or fifth wheel, working with all of them to make sure that there's systems that will integrate with that. So from your phone, you can control all of these things either through that app or through the Battleborn uh, app that you saw with the hub controller there. So that's high tech, very exciting news. It's easy to set up, easy to manage, easy to monitor. Um, very impressed with it. I think this is just another innovation from Battleborn that is going to keep the competition trying to rise up to that level just like they did with the original batteries and uh, be competitive. Uh, I don't know the pricing on this information yet. They didn't have it available for me when we did this interview. Um, I have reached out to them to get a little more updates on that, waiting to hear back. Once I have new information on that, I'll be reaching out to you guys and informing you of everything new. So what does that mean for all of you out there that have the legacy Battleborn batteries? Well, sadly, it's not compatible with this new upgraded system. However, as you already have experienced, if you've got these already, they are probably the best lithium batteries out there. And I only say that because of their current BMS system is the standard that everybody seems to strive to. Now there are quite a few companies that have built, finally built a BMS system that is equal to Battleborn. Um, they're not quite as efficient, but they are fairly equal to that. So they're getting better. Um, but as you just saw, Battleborn just take another leap forward and I believe they're a couple of years ahead of everybody else in putting these things, systems together. So this is why I partnered with Battleborn. They are a fantastic partner and uh, like me they <laughs> like to stay at the cutting edge or the front edge of all the uh, capabilities and technology uh, providing not only a quality product but also qual providing you guys uh, easy convenience on how to manage all the whole system and have the reliability that you know it's going to work when it's supposed to work. Now, I also want to remind you guys that uh, go to my website to fill out that form about what you want to do on your bucket list or what you'd like to do on a bucket list and I may just select you and uh, help pay for the expenses to go do that bucket list thing. I think that'll be a lot of fun. A lot of you have been doing it and there's been some great entries and I appreciate that. But I want to touch on one more thing. If you know somebody, or maybe you yourself, are in a situation financially you just can't afford it, uh, medically there's been uh, some things that put you back and basically made these bucket list things maybe harder to attain or achieve, I want to hear from you. I want you to reach out to me and tell me what it is, and I want to do what I can to help you achieve that bucket list. I want to find a way to help you get there. Um, and if you are gracious enough, to want me to be al come along and film all of this, that'd be fantastic too. But please fill that information out, go to the form, put it all in there. Again, if it's if it's yourself 
or somebody you know. I've had one, uh, one lady reach out to me. Uh, she said it's not her bucket list, but it's her father's, but for unfortunately, he's been diagnosed with some very severe illnesses that he may not be around too much longer. So I'm doing what I can to try to figure out how to get him out to do his bucket list um, before it's too late. So if you're one of those people or you know people like that, I want to hear from you. So go ahead, go to the form, fill it out, and uh, I'll likely be reaching out to you and talk a little bit further on how we can accomplish that. I've got some beautiful partners waiting in the wings to help us out, and uh, we'd like to go ahead and execute on that. So that's enough I'll say for that. I appreciate you all tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and ring that little bell that reminds you when I'm putting out another video. And those comments. I love those comments. Keep uh, doing that. Uh, that not only helps out in the YouTube algorithms, but it's a lot of fun for me to send the replies to you guys and uh, keep the communication going. And if you'd like to join our mail list, go ahead and go to my site, the bottom of the site of every page, click a button and you can join the mailing list. We're doing a lot of new fun things with that as well. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I apologize for the wind noise and the flags flapping in the background and the chimes as you hear in somebody else's rig over there. Um, but thanks for tuning in. It is a beautiful day and let's make every day a bucket list day. Thanks. Goodbye.